evening. My name is Rachel Treichler. I'm from Hammondsport in Steuben County. And I come to speak to you this evening as a concerned resident of the Shimon River watershed and the southern tier. Many of us from outside Shimon County are watching as you consider the environmental impact of your plans to more than double the size of the Shimon County landfill. We understand that this is to enable the landfill to take lots more drilling waste from the Marcellus Shale in Pennsylvania. We are watching because we are concerned about the landfills and the wastewater treatment plants in our own counties taking these wastes too. And so this is a problem. It's not just a problem that faces this county. It's a problem that faces many counties in our state, whether to take these wastes. Twelve other county legislatures in New York have banned the treatment of fracking waste in wastewater treatment facilities in their counties or spreading these wastes on the roads in their counties. These counties are Albany, Erie, Nassau, Onondaga, Oneida, Orange, Putnam, Rockland, Suffolk, Tompkins, Ulster, and Westchester. These laws were passed because many people in this state are fearful of the radioactivity in the Marcellus Shale. The most recent county law that was enacted was by Onondaga County on December 17th, and that law says, the toxins and radioactive materials found in hydraulic fracturing waste are detrimental to the public health. Because my review of studies that have been conducted about radioactivity in the Marcellus Shale caused me great concern about radiation, I don't understand why you have decided not even to address radioactivity issues in your environmental review. Dr. Robinson has um, printed out you know, most of the thousands of pages of this environmental review, but I went through it the other day, and it doesn't address radioactivity issues. Um, your scoping document says that you are not going to address radiation issues because uh, it says these impacts were examined in a prior environmental review or because uh, they're not environmentally significant based on the composition of Marcellus Shale waste materials currently being deposited in the landfill. And as others have also mentioned, this prior proceeding, um, that in that issue, various residents did try to present radiation issues, but the DEC determined um, that uh, that that proceeding would not address those issues, and it determined that because the DEC said the drilling waste is naturally occurring radiation. And because they determined that it was naturally occurring, they weren't even going to consider what the level was of radioactivity in the, in the cuttings. Um, and so, and they determined that it wasn't within the regulations. But this is a different type of proceeding. This is an environmental review under the State Environmental Quality Review Act to consider the environmental impacts of expanding the landfill and taking more of this waste. As a lead agency under CEQA, this legislature has the duty to take a hard look at all possible environmental and health impacts of the proposed expansion, and that includes the radioactivity issues. It's surprising that you say in your final scoping document that radioactivity issues are not environmentally significant based on the composition of Marcellus Shale waste materials that are currently being deposited in the landfill. The state of Pennsylvania does not share your optimism. As Colleen said, uh, the PA DEP began a study last year to analyze radioactivity levels in flowback waters, treatment solids, and drill cuttings. And if you look on their website, they have a very detailed protocol for what they're doing um, to make this examination. Uh, they issued an update on their study last fall. They reported in that update that they have sampled 54 landfills, including nine that they sampled extensively. 
They reported that their sampling will continue through the end of February and that their report will be finalized in August of this year. Some indication of what they may be finding is contained in the Duke University study on the impacts of shale gas wastewater disposal on water quality in western Pennsylvania that was released last October. The Duke study found that stream sediment downriver of a plant in near Pittsburgh that treats wastewater from oil and gas drilling contained radium concentrations 200 times above upstream and background sediments and above radioactive waste disposal threshold regulations. I urge you to reconsider your decision not to look at radioactivity issues and to extend the comment period to, to wait until the Pennsylvania study is done and to hold another hearing at that time so that the public and you yourselves can address the radioactivity issues. Radioactive waste can cause irreversible damage to water, air, land, soil, and food supplies. Don't let a contaminated landfill and a contaminated river be your legacy to Shimon County and to the Shimon River watershed. Thank you. Do we have anyone in the third row? 